The universe holds many fascinating and sometimes scary secrets, with many of them largely unknown. What we as humans don't really know much about is black holes. These all-consuming voids that eliminate light throughout the universe are enigmas. Whilst we do understand much more than we did 20 or 30 years ago, black holes are still baffling scientists to this day. A truly terrifying feat of nature, black holes are becoming more and more understandable and we're discovering more consistently. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three of the biggest black holes in the universe. Tun 618 Black Hole Located around 10 billion light-years away from us here on Earth lies Tun 618 Quasar, and at the centre of that is possibly one of the most massive supermassive black holes in existence. First noted during a survey of stars that ended up being mainly white dwarfs in 1957, the Tun 618 Quasar wasn't officially recognised until 1963 when quasars themselves were first recognised as an occurrence of the universe. It was then in 1970, during a radio survey in Italy, that there was in fact a radio emission detected from the Tun 618 Quasar. Known as very luminous, Tun 618 Quasar was identified as very distant because of its redshift but still visible therefore being known as very luminous because this could still be observed from Earth despite it being 10 billion light-years away. The Tun 618 quasar is very luminous, and the black hole swirling at its centre is estimated to be an astronomical 66 billion times more massive than that of our own Sun. It's no surprise that because of this, the Tun 618 supermassive black hole is one of, if not the most massive black hole that we currently know of. What's mostly impressive about the TON-618 supermassive black hole is its mass. It's truly incomprehensible by us here on Earth because of how we would be comparing it to our own Sun. To us, our Sun is gigantic and massive, its true size completely dwarfing Earth. So to then try and picture something 66 billion times the Sun's mass is borderline impossible. Holm 15A Black Hole Whilst it may not be the most massive of black holes, the Holm 15A black hole has a very interesting backstory and is by no means a small black hole. It's essentially the second most massive black hole in the entire universe. Whilst observing the Abel 85 cluster, the Max Planck Institute discovered something truly incredible. The Abel 85 cluster is a collection of around 500 galaxies. But what we're interested in is what lies at the very centre of this cluster of galaxies, the Holm 15A galaxy. Early calculations from scientists indicated that the centre of the Holm 15A was much more dimmer than it perhaps should have been when taking into account the astronomical mass of the stars that are located within the galaxy. All of this indicated that there was something different about Holm 15A's centre. Well, it turned out to be a black hole, but not just any black hole. After attempting to measure the mass of said black hole, the scientists discovered the estimates were much larger than first thought, and in fact, this black hole, now dubbed an ultramassive black hole, has a mass of around 40 billion times that of our Sun. That is a staggering number, and there's no real way to comprehend something of that scale. However, it is fascinating nonetheless. You might be wondering how something as massive as this ultramassive black hole could even exist within a galaxy, given the size of our own. Well, Holm 15a is a giant galaxy known as an elliptical galaxy. An elliptical galaxy is formed when a spiral galaxy such as our own, the Milky Way, merges within another spiral galaxy. It goes further though, as this newly formed elliptical galaxy can then merge with another elliptical galaxy, creating an even bigger galaxy. When these galaxies merge together, the black holes in their centres can also merge, and exactly like the galaxies themselves, create an even larger black hole. When these black holes collide and get larger, it can push stars away, forming the darker centre. This is how scientists discovered the Holm 15a black hole. Whilst the Holm 15a black hole is the most massive in the nearby universe, being only 700 million light-years away from us, the previous entry on this list actually trumps the Holm 15a ultramassive black hole. The Tun 618 Quasar ultramassive black hole is more massive but is located 10 billion light-years away, 
so cannot be considered to reside in the nearby universe. IC 1101 black hole Located around 1 billion light years away from us here on Earth is the Abel 2029 galaxy cluster. Within this cluster is the IC 1101 supergiant elliptical galaxy. As mentioned earlier, an elliptical galaxy is the product of two spiral galaxies merging together. The IC 1101 itself is actually one of the biggest galaxies in the known universe, which is a very impressive feat in itself. Not only that, the IC 1101 is home to something even more interesting. An ultramassive black hole, the third largest in the observable universe to be more specific, lies in the center of IC 1101. The black hole itself has not had its mass directly measured, however it's estimated to be just under the mass of Holm 15a ultramassive black hole, around 40 billion times the mass of our own Sun. Whilst this is IC 1101's estimated mass, it could actually be between 40 to 100 billion times the mass of our own Sun. But as mentioned previously, IC 1101 hasn't been directly measured at the time of recording so this could potentially be the most massive once measured more accurately. The IC 1101 galaxy is one of the more interesting galaxies that we know of, home to an estimated 100 to 150 trillion stars. That's again completely crazy to think of in practical terms. The supergiant elliptical galaxy of IC 1101 has a huge radius of 3 million light years. The total mass of IC 1101 is 1.125 quadrillion solar masses. The IC 1101 black hole, located at the center, has a mass of 70 billion solar masses. What's more mind-blowing is that because of its distance away from us here on Earth, anything we observe is more likely over 1 billion years old. It's because of this we really have no idea what's going on at the IC 1101 at present. An interesting point to think about is that due to the sheer amount of stars that are located within the IC 1101, there would more than likely be hundreds if not thousands of potential civilizations inhabiting this galaxy. Given the fact that the black holes we've spoken about today are so massive and incomprehensible to us means that probability would suggest somewhere out there there is more life or other civilizations. On the Kardashev scale, a scale used to determine the strength or size of a civilization, if a civilization were to occupy and control the IC 1101 galaxy, then that would fall into the highest category of the scale, a scale 3. This simply states that the civilization has completely colonized the galaxy. This is compared to us on Earth. We as a civilization would fall into the lowest end of the scale, a scale 1. A 1 on the scale is simply planetary scale occupation or control, so we as the human race control the planet. Going into specific detail and discussing these truly incredible occurrences throughout the universe can almost be quite an unsettling experience. Learning about these absolutely astronomical black holes, or should we say ultra-massive black holes, is fascinating more than anything. It shows just how more advanced we are getting as we progress as a civilization, and the simple fact that we can comprehend these mammoth black holes is fascinating in itself. The black holes we discussed today Tun 618, Holm 15A, and IC 1101 are universe royalty. They are, at the time of recording, the biggest black holes in the known universe. But what do you make of these black holes? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.